statue. And this is Genevieve, the giraffe. Say hello. Oh, how do you do? Um, Genevieve and I are going to read a different kind of story today. What do you mean different? Well, um, it's, uh, it's from the nonfiction section. Really? Yes. Uh, it's about digestion. <gasps> oh dear. Shall we read it? I suppose. Okay. It's called, I have a weird brother who digested a fly. <gasps> Ew. Yeah, it's a little gross. <laughs> it's by Joan Hobb and the illustrator is Patrick Girard. Oh, like giraffe. Um, sort of. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Uh, all right. Okay. I have a weird brother who digested a fly. Here we go. Oh boy. I have a weird brother who swallowed a fly. In the blink of an eye, he swallowed that fly. I wonder why. It doesn't seem like a very smart thing to do. No, it doesn't. Hmm. The fly floated. It splashed. It did the backstroke. So before your body can use food, it has to change it into tiny bits. So you have to chew it, you see. And then, and then uh, that's the very first part of the digestion. It starts in the mouth. All right. Uh, is this going to get worse? Uh, probably. My brother turned green and let out a croak. Well, yes, he just ate a fly. Disgusting. Yeah, it is kind of disgusting. Saliva or spit is watery stuff in your mouth that helps begin this change. So saliva has these enzymes in it that start to break down the food that you just put in your mouth. All right, so what do you think so far? It is a bit disgusting. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, let's see. The fly wiggle woggled around in his mouth bumping his teeth before moving south. Oh, does that mean down? Yes, down into the body. So the teeth break food into smaller pieces and the tongue moves the food so your teeth can chew it. And your tongue also pushes the food toward the back of your mouth to help you swallow. And then little, little bumps on your tongue called taste buds they, they um, can help you tell what flavor it is. I don't think a fly is a very uh, delicious flavor. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe if you were a frog, you might like a fly. Well, I'm not. I know. Gulp, so long fly. That fly headed inside. It swished down a tube on a wild water slide. Oh dear, did it go down his throat? Yes, and your throat squeezes together when you swallow. It pushes the food down, and it, that, that tube is called the esophagus. Esophagus? Yes, esophagus. And that tube connects your mouth to your stomach. It's gonna get down to the stomach eventually. Oh dear. This is going to get worse, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, now this just happens on its own. Down goes the fly. It got squashed and squeezed into yucky fly goop. I told you. Yeah, you, you, you're right. It's getting worse. It got mixed and mashed till it turned into soup. Ew. That's disgusting. Well, that's how it works. Food reaches your stomach next, and your stomach is, is like a balloon. It can stretch to hold lots of food. It can, it can hold about four cups of food at a time. 
and it has muscles inside the stomach that mash up the food and stir it and push it farther down on its trip. And your food stays in your stomach about, um, about three hours. It takes three hours to kind of go through the process. Oh dear. Yeah. The fly whooshed through a tunnel back and forth side to side. What is that? Um, that's the, uh, the small intestine and the large intestine. That's the tunnel it's talking about. It went down, down, down on a long winding ride. It doesn't look like a very amusing ride. No, it's not an amusement park ride. It's a, uh, it's a, a digestion ride. Disgusting. I guess I, I, I realize that, but this is just part of the digestion process. Um, the, the food is squeezed through a tube called the small intestine, which is about 20 feet long. And it winds back and forth. That's how it fits inside you. And in the small intestine, food is mixed with, with chemicals and enzymes. And, and, and they, they help break the food up into tiny pieces so small you can't even see them. And then um, the food goes into the large intestine. Oh dear, I can guess what happens next. Oh, well, you're a smart giraffe. <laughs> Here we go. After 24 hours, it took a whole day, the fly turned into waste. It got flushed away. I knew it. I knew this would end into something disgusting like, well, you know, yes. So the parts of the food that can't be changed into energy or things that your body can use, it's called waste. And that goes through the body and comes out your bottom when you go to the bathroom. Ew. Oh, look at that fly. Uh, yeah, I think he's looking for his friend. Little fly is saying, Bobby. Oh dear. My brother turned cartwheels. At least ten or so. Where did he find all his get up and go? Oh, I don't know. Well, you know, just like a, a car needs gas to go, your body needs food for energy. Um, food is the fuel that helps you run, think, and grow. It keeps every part of your body strong and alive. Um, there are many different healthy foods, you know, vegetables and fruit and all kinds of things. So your body needs food. Oh. I have a weird brother who swallowed a fly. In the blink of an eye, he swallowed that fly. I wonder why. Well, maybe, perhaps... He swallowed that fly because I dared him to give it a try. Oh dear, that's the reason? I, I guess so. It was a dare, so don't take dares. I mean, they can be, they can be not, not very good ideas, right? And this last part of the book has questions like, should I eat a fly? Well, no, of course not, unless you're a frog. That's probably a good answer. So that is the book called I Have a Weird Brother Who Digested a Fly. And it was disgusting. Well, yeah, but it was informative too, wasn't it? Uh, I suppose. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't want to read that again. No, you don't have to.